Yes, boys, how are we? Dave Designs back with another video, and today's video, it's not a FIFA 22 video, believe it or not. It's actually, finally, a, another graphic design video, where today, we will be making a FIFA 22 uh, card design with a template that I have just made. It took absolutely ages to make, but I've had a few positive feedback off it, so let's just get straight into it and see how helpful it actually is. Okay, so if you go into the link in the description or on any of my social medias, you'll see how to make your own foot card in there, in the Google Drive. And it will come up with this. And as you can see, there's a green background. Just remove that. That is just there for show. Uh, obviously, if you need a little bit of help on, or whatever. But you want to get rid of the nation of badge, text and lines, card bot and player render as we are not bothered about that for now. Because all we are doing is designing the actual card itself. So as you can see here, we have inside borders where you get a choice, so you can have either one, two, or three, as you can see. And then um, on the outside borders, again, you have a choice of one, two, or three. But in this, uh, so obviously you can choose whatever like, whatever you like. And as you can see here, there are textures, um, obviously different types of like brushes in there that you can use, the tick whatever 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 so you can change all the colors on this do what you like have fun and whatever as you can see you can change the color of anything but this is what i made i made a foot birthday card so as you can see here we started off with a clean background and then this is the important part so the layer above was there like that that is that that is in the how to make your own foot card psd in this we move the layer down to above the clean background and then clip and mask it onto that because we need the texture. We need the texture above it. We can't have it below. As you can see, it doesn't work. We need it above. So now that we've done that, then what we want to do is um, I added some confetti, which isn't in the PSD. Obviously, you can add your own things as well. Uh, then I added uh, the overlay in the top left. Then I added a tick. Okay, this is the important part on this part because... Um, we don't want this to be changed at all. This is the shadow of the tick above it. As you can see, we've added a pinkish tick um, going off the last last FIFA's foot birthday. Then we added the two lines. We made them blue. Then we added the net. We made it white. Then we added the faded bottom. As you can see, we made it purple. Okay, now that we've done that, we wanted to add some borders. So we added number two for the outer border, as you can see. And then for the inside border... We made it number one. So that is the foot birthday card that we made. With two little balloons on the outside. As you can see. Because it's got pink. Going from pink here to pink. And then purple to purple from there. So now once you've done that. You want to merge the whole card together. Go to filter. Camera raw filter. And now I say this in every design and video possible. Every single time. I say camera raw filter. Now you just want to change around with the settings. Have a little bit of fun. You want to make it look better you just make it look better uh, this is just for the for example i've already done the cards but as you can see so it's went from this to this uh, we could actually turn the vibrance up and then like the saturation down just like that uh, yeah that's quite that's actually a lot better isn't it so now that we've done that as you can see it's changed for the better then see where it says player render and um, this dynamic gradient here that is also important that you change. So as you can see, this is the phase for Messi. So color overlay. And then you can make it any, any color you want. As you can see, pink, blue. But we want to make it purple so the so the fade is very clean. Same with the cardboard. You don't want it to be black. We need it to be very clean. So again, we're going with dark purple. So purple, dark. Uh, we'll go with that one. That one's fine, isn't it? That one's fine. Add the text on line. So Messi... Right wing, whatever, whatever, and then nation and badge. But if you do want to change player to, like, let's say De Bruyne, uh, nation, as you can see, it's a smart object, so that means you can open up the file, open it up. De Bruyne is obviously from Belgium, uh, so you obviously got to look for Belgium. Make sure that everything else is, like, closed off, so Belgium is there. Once you've got it, then you want to press Control and S, so it saves. Close that and obviously it just automatically changes to Belgium. And then again, same with the badges. You want to get rid of League One. Go to Premier League. Go down to Man City. Take away Manchester United. Again, Control S to save. 
and then boom there we go obviously you can just add a player obviously add the brain whoever you want and once you've done that then you can save it i think that is all done but if you do have any questions please make sure you know to leave leave them or whatever i think that's everything i need to tell you for now um, I will be updating this every so often if obviously new new things come out or whatever for the cards. Um, even if you're like, I don't know, so you want to add a different texture background. Um, all you need to do is just get rid of the texture background. Everything will appear then. But uh, you want to go to duplicate layer. Once you've duplicated the layer, as you can see, it's a clean background copy. Then go with any texture you want. So I'll just go to one in my Google Drive. So texture. We'll go with, we'll go with this one. Why not? We'll go with that one. Okay. Then you wanna just resize it to the actual thing. Do whatever you like. Honestly, just play around with it. Just play around. Um, clip and mask that onto it. Um. Oh, sugar. What have I done there? Uh, control E. There we go. And then you want to put the layer back over it. And then as you can see, the everything is back clear. So then you want to clip a mask. You make sure everything is clip and mask. As you can see, just right click on it. All these options come up. Clip and mask. Clip and mask. Clip and Don't leave anything else. Otherwise, it will, it will mess it. Clip and mask. Clip and mask. And then as you can see, the texture is there on everything. Obviously, again, you can just change the tick, for instance, to... I don't know, if you want to change it to red, change it to red, you know, just play around with it, dead easy to use, dead simple, if you do have any questions, please make sure to DM me on Instagram or Twitter, and yeah, I think that's it for today, and that's all we have for today, we went from this to this, so if you did enjoy, please make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, I hope this was helpful for you, if you do have any questions, Go to me Instagram, Twitter, or whatever. I will help out as much as I can. And I hope to see you guys very soon for another FIFA 22 video.